This is where it all begins. This is the gray room. And in the gray room, the fabric is received from all over the world. Samples are cut, sent into the lab for evaluation to make sure it's the right product. We then wind it into smaller rolls first and then combine it into large A-frames, which is the most efficient way to handle it in the next step. Now we're gonna see saturation. Saturation is the beginning of preparation. We're gonna apply chemicals to be able to loosen up the impurities of the fabric. We're then gonna let that roll spin for 24 to 48 hours. Once everything is solubilized, we take it over to the washer. We wash it with hot water and surfactants like in your washing detergent at home. The fabric is then rolled up and ready for the next step. And well, let's go over and take a look at the color kitchen, which is the first step. What happens here is all the colors and chemicals are precisely dispensed into drums. The drums go across the system, as you can see. A mixer will come out. The drum is mixed from top to bottom. The mixer will go back in and is washed. The drum then comes off. At that point, the gentleman who operates it will go over with a tongue depressor and take a little bit of color out, which is kind of comical, but that's the way we then take it, spot it on a piece of fabric, and our colorist just takes a glance at it to make sure there's no obvious error that took place. That drum is then brought over to a print machine for one position, and as you can see, let's go take a look over at the print machine. See, there are multi-drums here at the print machine. These are all the colors in the print pattern. Everyone is hooked up with a hose, and it goes to one position on the machine. Each position has a screen, and in that screen, there's one character. One color of one character will be printed in that position. All the positions have to operate in perfect synchronization for the print to look beautiful and to be nice and clear and sharp. When it comes off the print machine, you can see now we're going through the multi-pass dryer. You'll see the fabric coming off all wound up. It is printed. Now it is ready to be finished. This is the finishing department. The first piece of equipment we're going to put it on is called a tenter frame. When it goes on the tenter frame, you can see it's pulled off, goes out over a set of steam cans for additional curing, goes through an accumulator so we can sew on roll to roll. The fabric then gets an application of a softener or of an unbranded soil and stain resistant or a branded soil and stain resistant or water repellent goes down the tenor frame, is pulled out to width, and the finish is dried and cured. When the fabric comes out the other end, it's wound up, and it depends on what type of finish that we're trying to achieve. In this case, there's an additional or subsequent step, and that's gonna be a laundering process. Let's go take a look at the aero machine. Here's the aero, the fabric is moving on a bed of air and steam at somewhere around 800 yards per minute. During this process, we get bulking of the fiber and a breakdown of the hand so it comes out beautifully soft and laundered. As you can see, the finishing supervisor is touching it, looking at it, it's just absolutely beautiful. Once he approves it, it gets sent into inspection. This is the inspection department. And in the inspection department, what we do is obviously look at the fabric, flag defects or cut them out depending what it is. We compare everything to a standard to make sure it's the right job that the customer is going to get. We roll the fabric on a tube. We cut a strip off of each piece to make sure that we have a retain of what it looked like. We then put it in a poly bag and the fabric is either then put on skids and shrink wrap or goes in cartons and those cartons are strapped up for shipment. People can actually order a yard of this fabric and we will cut it and there's a charge to do so. The other thing that we do is we make finished product. Look at this beautiful print in an actual pillow. 